Welcome back, Marauders. Uh, this is video 9.4, thermodynamic and kinetic control. Uh, so in our last video, we learned about delta G, which is Gibbs free energy, and we learned how to use uh, delta G to predict if a reaction would proceed in the forward or reverse direction. Uh, and we know that when delta G is negative, when it's less than zero, then a reaction is thermodynamically favored in the forward direction. So it's really essential that you guys remember this. If delta G is negative, the reaction is going in the forward direction. Uh, the opposite's also true. If delta G is positive, if it's greater than zero, then it goes in the reverse direction. Uh, a note on this is that being thermodynamically favored, or delta G being less than zero, does not mean a reaction will occur quickly. Sometimes we'll calculate a delta G, and then we look at the reaction and nothing happens. It doesn't happen quickly. Uh, and the reason for that uh, could be that you have a high activation energy, and that's what kinetic control is about. It's about even if a reaction is thermodynamically favored, it may not happen at a noticeable rate. Uh, they used to use the term spontaneous, spontaneous a lot. Uh, you may see it in our textbook. You may see it on uh, other sources that you may look at. Uh, but spontaneous is a little bit misleading because, like we just said, Gibbs free energy doesn't tell us that a reaction is going to proceed quickly or slowly. And so we prefer to use the term thermodynamically favored uh, over spontaneous. And so when delta G is less than zero, um, we're going to say it's thermodynamically favored. It doesn't tell us the reaction is going to happen fast. It just tells us it will happen in the forward direction. And so the reason for that is that some reactions don't occur at a measurable rate. They occur extremely slowly. Why would a reaction occur slowly? Well, it could have a high activation energy. So this reaction going from your reactants to your products, uh, we might calculate delta G and delta G might be less than zero, telling us that this reaction should proceed in the forward direction. But we set this up in the lab, we wait for it, and we don't see anything happen. Uh, some reactions are extremely slow. So delta G tells us which direction the reaction will go. It doesn't tell us how fast it will go. Uh, and so if it has a high activation energy like this, it'll go really slow, and we call that kinetic control. Even though delta G is negative, the reaction's not going to proceed at a noticeable rate.